Hey guys, it's Lauren from It's the Kellys. And if you're new here, I travel often and pack well and want to help you do the same. I do packing videos on Wednesdays and luggage videos on Saturdays. And I've been to 92 countries and all seven continents packing in just a carry-on bag. Today, I want to talk about clamshell luggage and why I prefer it over the traditional type of luggage. If you've seen my packing videos before, then you know my style and I have a bit of a system. Now, maybe you clicked on this video because you disagree with me and that's fine. I love it. Let's have a discussion, especially once you've seen the rest of the video. I really wanna know what you think. I truly believe there is no right or wrong way of packing. There is no right or wrong luggage. It's all about what you prefer. But I decided to do this video because a lot of you guys ask why I prefer clamshell luggage and why I don't like soft luggage that opens in the traditional way. So this video is just going to explain it and give you packing examples as to why I prefer clamshell. If you like soft luggage, luggage with two wheels, backpacks, duffel bags, anything that I don't typically use, that's okay. Everyone has their own preference and this is mine. So when you have a bag like this, there is a zipper down the middle, it opens up and both sides are even, giving you packing space on one side and the other. But then there's bags like this. Sometimes they're soft like this one and sometimes they're hard or sometimes they're a little bit of a hybrid, but it has the zipper in front here, opens up and then you just have kind of a big bucket of packing space instead of two even sides. Now, really, these bags are the exact same size. They are the same height, width, and depth, and they're both international size carry-ons. In case you're wondering, this is the Monos carry-on, and this is the Calpac Luca carry-on. So let me go ahead and pack them both so I can show you. I'm gonna start with the clamshell, and then I'm going to transfer everything from in here into this bag to show you guys the difference. So this is clamshell luggage. See that? You pack here and you pack here. Okay, so if you are new to my type of packing, on one side I have packing cubes. Here we have one medium size and here we have a little bit of a smaller size. And then I like to pack everything else on this side where I can get a little bit more creative. I can fit an extra pair of shoes, an even smaller packing cube, a toiletries bag, two pairs of sunglasses, a purse, and a flat iron. What I love about this type of bag, you guys, is the organization. Anything I need to get ready for the day is going to be on this side that I'm gonna wear. And then over here, I have a lot more of my accessories that I may not use every day. Also this way, I don't have to go digging to get a whole bunch of stuff. The clothes are right here. There's nothing underneath it and everything is right here with the exception of the toiletry bag. That's the only thing I have to dig for. And there's still a ton of room if I wanna buy souvenirs, pack some camera gear, or if I wanna pack this, I totally can because who wants to wear this on the plane? I would put a packing cube right in here. I would put one shoe on one side, one shoe on the other, and then I would fit everything else around the brim of the hat. Keeping it shape and still being able to pack everything, close the luggage and go. <laughs> Now let's take everything out of this bag and put it in the other one. Do you think it's all gonna fit? So this is the more traditional style bag. I like to call it a bucket because this is all your packing space. It's one big bunch of depth. And then you have this little flap that goes over it. So let's go ahead and transfer everything from this one into this one. We're gonna start with our packing cubes that are gonna go on the bottom and it already takes up this much space. Then we have the other packing cube, the shoes, the toiletry bag, the flat iron, 
sunglasses, which we'll go ahead and put in here, and the purse. I already have to get creative. Now, could we take some stuff out of here and put it in here? Sure, that would save us a little bit of room, but I could have done that on the other one too. Still saving us more room. Plus, there's no room for souvenirs, camera gear, or my cute sun hat. Then I'd have to wear it on the plane. And what if I'm flying to the Maldives? You think I'm gonna wear this for that many hours? I'd have to put it in here and squish it. And I'm sorry, but packable hats are never actually packable. I know what you're thinking. Let's put the shoes in here instead. Okay. It fits. I know it fits. That's fine. But when you overpack it like that, look at how much taller this one is than this one. This one keeps its shape and is going to stay in the overhead bin perfectly fine. But this one, see how it has this little rounded mound on top? Sometimes with this shape, you can't always fit it in the overhead bin. Yes, it's a little bit squishable, but the more this is rounded, the bigger it gets. And I don't even have anything in the front pocket. I mean, look at that difference. Also, when I get to my destination and need something out of my bag, all right, I wanna grab an outfit real quick. I gotta get rid of that, 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 and that in order to get to my clothes. Now I've just made a mess in my room, which takes up a little bit more space, don't you think? I really can't think of a single reason to use this type of bag over the clamshell. Now, as I was coming up for the idea with this video, of course I went ahead and did my research. I looked on the internet and all sorts of different forums as to why people like one over the other. I know my reasons, but I wanna know everybody else's reasons too. And the number one reason why people don't like clamshell bags is because they say it takes up way too much space in a hotel room because it would have to lie flat and it can't fit on a luggage rack. Here I am at a hotel and I'm placing my luggage on a luggage rack and it fits. I don't know what to tell you guys. It totally fits. Um, yeah, it fits. Well guys, I've been to almost a hundred countries, all seven continents. I've been in countless hotel rooms all over the world and I've never ever had a problem fitting my clamshell luggage in a hotel room. We're talking about carry-ons here. Even in a cruise ship cabin, even when traveling with a friend that is also bringing clamshell luggage, I just stayed in six different hotel rooms in Europe with my friend where we both had carry-on luggage that opened clamshell style from Hayes. We both had our luggage open the entire time and it was fine. And we had a ton of space. And even with my whole family in one room, it's fine. If you're staying in a super small hotel room, unpack your luggage. If you don't have any drawers or a closet, and that's pretty rare, live out of your packing cubes. That's one of the many benefits of using them. Or just close the suitcase when you're done getting something out of it. You don't think it'll fit on a luggage rack? I promise you, it will. Come on now, don't be silly. So please feel free to chime in down below as to which you prefer and why. If you prefer the typical type of bag that opens more bucket style, please let me know down below and let's chat about it. I truly believe that you can pack more, get a little bit more creative with your packing and buy things to come home with if you have clamshell luggage. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure you're subscribed to the channel and make sure you follow us on Instagram for even more packing and luggage tips, tricks, and travel videos. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.